<laughs> Lazy bitch. Hmm. Oh, bloody fly on my head. Orgasm. Stop going white. Mm. So I've got bloody I forgot to wet it. See that orgasm has gone all over my face. <laughs> Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Um, I'm just going to do an everyday get ready with me today and I thought I would pull out a high-end palette and a cheapie, uh, 25, $28, something like that, against uh, 8 or $9, a Revolution um, Reloaded pa Mini Palette and M Natasha Denona Mini Bieber Palette. And I was going to put them to the test, do one on each other. I'm not telling you! Wait. I'm not going to tell you which is which. Mix them all around. So I've done one in one eye, one on the other eye. Actually, before you go on, look, before you go on to the video, tell me which one you think is on which eye. So, yes, a comment down below. The first person to comment gets a big kiss from me. So yes, um, I've decided to put these to the test, just for the sheer fun of it, why not? Um, see if you need to pay 28 quid for a palette when this one can do maybe the same kind of thing. Anyway, I hope you're well. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I've lost my track and here we go with the face of no makeup. Be careful. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching and all of that. Oh, please, please give us a thumbs up. I, my channel's doing really well at the moment and I'm loving it. And a thumbs up obviously is going to go a long way and subscribe even better if you want to like hooded eye makeup content for old women who babble on and do makeup tutorials. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so um, I am going to put on the Glow Recipe Glowish Plum Plumping Hyaluronic Moisturiser. Um, I love it and it smells amazing. I've already told you that. Okay, um, so um, if the lighting's off, I'm, I do apologise. Donnie and I have been out here for two hours now. It's quite dull today. We're in the garden um, and the guy in the yard over the road has decided to start bloody banging everything, sawing everything, you know, just when I don't want him to. So I'm sorry if it's in, but as you can see, I'm quite glowy now. Um, I forgot to... I forgot to wet it. I'll be back. Wait. Right, it's wet now. Does anyone else put this, use this dry? So, I thought I would use today, uh, I'm revisiting some old stuff that I use with my OGs and I've just like moved on when I've got new stuff. And also, um, I'm going to, what am I going to do? Um, yeah, I'm going to just get ready. You know that already, don't you? <laughs> Okay, uh, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the colour and shade, I'm trying to be professional, shade Custard. So um, I'm not going to go on a massive, this is not tutorial because this is just me fannying around. Um, do I normally do this afterwards or before? I normally do this afterwards, before my, after my foundation. Anyway, regardless of that, um, look how white it's gone. I'm going to stay back here, I'm going too close. Um, regardless of any of that, um, I just wanted to give a heart. I just wanted to give a heartfelt thank you to all of you. My something's gone funny on my channel. Um, I literally have like, f I mean, I'm getting like 50, 40 or 50 subscribers a day at the moment, which is astounding, absolutely amazing. Um, and I've had them. That's been happening for the last week or so. Um, and the only thing that I've done different is to upload a video once a week, once every eight or nine days. And there's only been three of them, four of them, I don't know. So I'm just shocked. Um, sorry, get my get my puff. Wasn't prepared really. Um, so yes, I'm astounded at how things are going and I'm truly, truly thankful. I can't describe it. I've just literally, but there's so many comments and. Um, I've been up like in the middle of the night just replying to people and reading the messages like, oh, you know, it's amazing. I finally found somebody. Um, finally found somebody um, with hooded eyes who, who has actually got hooded eyes. Um, yeah, and I've got hooded eyes. I've got the T-shirt. So um, it's so it's so lovely. Some lady was saying, um, what am I doing? Some lady was saying that her mum was suffering from an illness and she wanted to do a makeup and she kept trying and she couldn't get it right. I'm using the microphone. Don't look at my bra. Um, trying to counteract the uh, 
the workman. Um, yeah, so she said that her mum was really poorly and she just felt down in the dumps. And she's been looking for someone to, with hooded eyes ever since she joined YouTube for two or three years ago. And it seems that YouTube at the moment are pushing out my first ever video, the one that I did for hooded eyes, the smoky eye. Um, and I don't know what happened to that video, but they just loved it. It's like 93,000 views now. It's been two and a half years. I'm flipping so chuffed. I really am. So yeah, it's um, been a it's just the last couple of weeks I've just been on cloud nine and it's just so nice to you know I came on here as I said before death because I couldn't find anybody that had eyes like mine literally there was a couple maybe a couple but they had different eyelid space and um they were in, it was they were they weren't the same they just weren't the same they had probably a, a very small area here or they did their makeup differently than I wanted to. I wanted to do something a little bit heavier. So, yeah, I'm absolutely over the bloody moon. And, yeah, boss. Let me get that close to that one. Get close to that. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, I like this. This is really good. No, I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, okay. Uh, also, um, I'm going to put this on the Fenty Matchstick in the shade look at my glasses dotty's been biting them i don't know if you can see or hear look nibble nibble and dirty fingerprints but anyway uh, this is the shade amber zero one i thought it was wrong i was wrong i was wrong not it up there tried various ways of applying this put the little upside down uh and i am now gonna try i haven't tried this yet this is a brush Sorry, this is a brush that I've had. This is a Real Techniques 200. Uh, oh God, it says expert face brush. Do whatever you like with it. Um, I actually wash this. This is the uh, one or two brushes I've washed. I normally use this on my hands to put my fake tan on. It's flipping brilliant. It really is. It goes like right in between your fingers. It's fantastic. So yeah, expert face brush and self tanner. Um, so I, I've, re I've gone through fingers and all that kind of stuff. I feel I need something a little bit stiff. So. I'm going with this one. See how I get on. Pushing it up. Well, oh, stop doing it. You said it wasn't going to be a tutorial, Jules. Eh. Um, yeah, so we're trying to be trying to set the lighting up. You want to see what I've got over here now. We've got all these three tripods, blah 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 blah. And um, yeah, it's quite funny actually. But this side of this side has been typically darker. I don't. I look really glowy. Well, that's because I am because I haven't put my powder on yet. Anyway, yeah. So that's my contour that's what you can see it can't you okay powder powder right um going back to old fave we've got um that one that one i'll make up forever professional this is the ultimate ultra hd powder micro powder i've got oh, a bloody fly on my head dirty fly okay uh, i'm gonna go under my eyes with my powder puff love this thing not sure what this is going to look like because I've not I haven't used this for ages. I'm not I'm not sure that I've used it under my eyes before. I've got oh bloody fly on my head. Stop going white. What is it? Why does it start going white? Why? Right. I'm just going to film bits again when they go bloody white and flipping annoying. Okay, um, and I'm going to put some. I'm going to do. So this guy, I can't I'll try and find his name. He said that T-Zone is not necessarily, because you want the cheeks to be, or these bits here. So these bits here get quite greasy on me as well. So what I'm going to... Right. Hopefully he'll get bored. So I'm going to powder. <laughs> Oh, asshole. I don't even know if you can hear this because I've got the mic on. I'm going to powder in a W shape like that, but it's going to go all the way up there. Okay, bear with. I'm going to shake it. This has got like a little sieve thing on it. So <laughs> I'll put some on the bloody desk. That'll be fine. So, all about the middle. All about the middle. All up there. So, it's a W with a great big. W with a great big middle bit W, a bit on the desk, and I'm going to go over here. 
because that's where I'm going to apply my product. I don't know, I'm just trying it, you know, whatever. Get, get there somehow, a bit on my nose because that always gets greasy. I look like Casper the Ghost now. <laughs> There's a whole bloody line there. Oh, I'm so used to my Maybelline Fit Me. But yeah, I do love this because it, it lit. Oh, they're both going now. Come on. Hurrah. This is ridiculous. Look at that bloody great big black hair sticking out. Go on. Okay. Um, remember I said powder your eyebrows. I'll give you up in a minute. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go with the NARS, um, this is Laguna and Orgasm Joint Bronzer and Blusher. Um, I'm going to squeeze my bronzer brush, you know that's what I do, I'm going to whack it in there. I'm going to start up here where I started the con just above the contour, squashing the brush so I've got a smaller line. I'm going to show you a new tip with my blush, I've copied a lady called Beauty by Des and she's amazing and her blush looks flipping awesome. So. Uh, as you can see, I'm going where my just above my just above on my temples and my forehead, not across the middle. Same on this side. Oh, I've got to get used to this lighting. And then I'm going to go over my, the bridge of my nose because I've been in the sun. This is quite shiny. I might have to play some music over this bit. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not giving up. Contour looks good. I like that. I quite like that. Right, we're going to go in with the um, orgasm. Should we have a bit of an orgasm? It's quite shiny. I, don't know, I did it the other day and it didn't look so shiny. So, okay, so Des has beautiful cheekbones and lovely juicy cheeks so I'm I've just I was last week I was putting my blush just here nowhere near my eye today I'm gonna go all over my face right because I can and I will so I'm going and look at that I'm going all the way up there and I'm coming down I'm just gonna do it where I want my chip well I'm gonna do it where I want my blush to go all right I'm not following anyone else I'm just one juicy cheeks do the same thing on this side um, there no idea what this is gonna look like I'm getting really annoyed with the drill man now it doesn't really come out I'm gonna I'm gonna dig deep and get a bit more color all right maybe concentrate it a bit more by bringing my hand, by bringing my hand further down the handle, so I've got more. Yeah, get a bit of quite. This is ridiculous. Start up here. I'm just looking in my mirror, excuse me. Okay, so I'm going for fresh, juicy looking skin. I always put a bit on my nose, I always put a bit on my chin. I like that, that's nice. Okay, that's my blush. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm not going to come in for that. Let's see how bright it goes if I zoom in. Zoom in, not zooming in, am I really? Let's be honest. Okay. Spoolie. Spoolie. Oh, now I've got in. Let's see a white powder. White powder. Okay, so that's the shape of my eyebrows. Um, a lot of people keep asking about how I get the... Because I've got no hairs here. So I'll come in a bit. I've got no hairs here. So I just draw fake ones on with this felt tip stealer pen. 
it's very fine and it does last all day if, even through my greasiness so what I typically do is just a few start here little strokes like that and then I'll just do some random ones like like they grow really on your face itch and then I'll go over with the spoolie so it's not so harsh because they look a little bit dark there so you can see it just looks kind of natural sorry about the drilling I do apologise Right, okay, so let's start with the eyes. I'm going to put some coal in today. Uh, Rimmel Scandalize, grey, amazing. And we're going to blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. I haven't used this for quite a while, actually. I'll put a bit on my leg to make sure it's still moist. And it is in the waterline. And onto the lashes themselves. Sorry, this is a disaster. Okay, I'm going to take a small blending brush, Real Techniques, just like a little stubbly brush, quite quite firm. And I'm going to just hold my bottom eyelid and blend that onto the bottom eyelid. Same on this side. Okay, so yeah, I was going to ask you guys, um, is there anyone, so I watch Miss C, uh, Miss M Beauty, I watch um, Risa Does Makeup, um, all of that, kind of Dominic Satch, but she's just way above my league, um, all of those kind of people, and um, I just really wanted to know if I'm missing anyone, is there anyone else that you really recommend that would be good, you know, you know mature makeup kind of thing, that would be really helpful, I'd like to see that, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> right okay uh so battle of the um sorry let me just going to go in with some eye, eye eyeshadow primer urban decay i've desperately been trying to get on sephora's um beauty program um influencer program but i can't i've been rejected for sephora brazil i've got U sephora uk which is not <laughs> bearing in mind that my demographic most of the people that watch my channel i think 70 percent of the people that watch my channel are from America. I really, 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 really want to work with Sephora in the USA, but I can't even find a link. I'm going through a company called Rocketeer, Rocketane, Rocketane, something like that. Um, yeah, it just brings up um, Sephora in Australia and Sephora in Brazil. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've spent ages watching videos now. Can anyone help me, please? Right, so uh, Battle of the Planets. I just thought I'd get a look at these two. So I'm going to do one eye with one and one eye with another. They're not going to look exactly the same. It doesn't really matter because it's like two o'clock here. I didn't get out of bed till half past ten today. Lazy bitch. Hmm. So um, what am I doing? Come on, Julie. Da -da 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 -da. I've got all of these in. A, actually, did I prepared today? I've got these all in line of line of order of how they come. And I'm going to try and use some of my old brushes as well. This one is the first ever makeup brush that I bought. And this was sold to me to put eyeshadow on with. And I, you know, for the first year or so, when I bought my Bobbi Brown eyeshadows, I'm like, oh, that's amazing. And then I found something else and decided to use that. This became my highlighter brush. However, I don't use a highlighter so much anymore. And when I, the, the cheapy one that I bought is kind of getting a little bit scratchy now. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to dig my Bobbi Brown one out. So here we are. So let's do this this eye, my right eye, with the um, cheapy Revolution palette, and I'm going to go in with this like um, it's like a, a sandy colour. I'm going to go in with that. I don't know. I haven't tried haven't tried this palette before, so I don't know how it's going to perform. So now, in reflection, it's been four years since I've used four, no, probably five, probably five years since I've used this brush um, to apply my makeup and. It's perfect for the size of the lid space that I have. And it's very, very light, actually. It's putting the makeup down lovely. Oh, see when you revisit oldies, 
who knows what's going to happen um so yeah so that's realistically probably just to put down my transition shade so i'm going to put it a step away from the big fluffy brush now i'm going to use my elf brush which is a little bit smaller same principle just a little bit smaller and i'm going to go in with this shade it's quite a step down so i'm not sure this one here is um a metallic so that uh, shimmer so that really won't work so i'm going to go in with this one i'm going to tack it off the uh, when i did the swatches they were a bit dusty so natasha denona very creamy so i haven't put any powder under my eyes so fingers crossed okay so we're going to go i'm going to start i'm going to go a bit higher today because i'm still oh, i think i'm stuck in the mode of doing an, an, an everyday eye look which is great but when i look back at some photos typically the first one i ever did so what he's doing over there apart from getting on my nerves when i look back at the photos i used to come up really high and i love that smoky look but it's not really probably appropriate for when you're just dossing around in romania doing the washing and such anyway so okay so that's that shade there and that's patted over now remember we're patting not swiping and then i'm going to go uh, i'm going to blend that actually i'm going to blend that again we're just blending blend 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 make sure it's seamless i'm not at 45 degrees i'm not at 90 somewhere in the middle very very softly oh, i'm running that space right darker one that one okay uh, and i'm going to go in with my Lux petite brush from zoeva for the darker shade again a couple of swipes dip it in tap it off i tap that i tap that very rigorously actually and get a bit more one little tap that's better we're going to go in our 10 pence piece size just in a circle and i'm going to come out at the edge and i'm going to come up that way rather than that way i'm going to come up that way okay and we're going to blend blend up there blend over there i'm going to look dead straight into the mirror the mirror's there, I know, but I'm looking dead straight because I want to see if you can still see the dark shadow when I lift my head because I typically end up going down there and when I lift my head up or my eyes up, it disappears. I don't know, we seem to be okay at the moment. I want to go a shade darker, but there isn't any, so I maybe put just put a bit more on. Again, just keep it there, concentrate. I think because it's a... I don't think it's going to have much more pigment in it, so I think I'm pushing my luck to try and get any more colour out of it. Blend that up, pull it, pushing it up like that, so it blends in with the colour on on top of it, underneath it, underneath it. Okay, um, and we're going to go. I'm going to go underneath now. I'm going to use the one that's on the brush already because why not? You don't have to really do it in any particular order. It just helps you remain focused. And I've got the brush on its side now, so I'm not going like that. I want a bit more control. And I've got the blush, the brush on its side. Of course, it started to rain. Of course, it started to rain. And then I'm closing my eye a little bit. She's still doing a bloody tutorial, isn't she? Still at it. Okay, and then I've got... Oh, no, where's my little gold brush? I've got this little gold brush from Superdrug a long, long time ago. It's just another little fluffy brush, more of a flatter end. And I'm just going to go in with uh, the lighter shade, the sandy colour, just to make sure that that blends in with my skin tone. Um, okay. I'm happy with that. I like eyeliner. Why did I stop wearing eyeliner? Might be a little bit heavier on the bottom. And I still think I need a darker shade there somewhere. Right, okay, so that's that. Uh, let's put a bit of shimmer in the socket. So I'm going to use this shade here. Uh, I showed you on the on the um, swatches, but hey, let's have another look. That's nice. Oh, for God's sake. Nice shade. Okay, I'm going to use my finger because I don't want to. Oh, quite a bit of fallout with that one. Hey, where's my Q-tip? Hold on a moment. See, this is why I don't particularly like shimmers. And this is just my preference. But I do think that it makes your skin look crepey. I do like the effect, don't get me wrong. But I do think it makes your eye look crepey. Right, so I'll put this one away. And then we're going to use the Natasha Denona for the next one. So, oh no, my smudger brush. I don't need that. Okay, so we're going to go back in with the Bobbi Brown, and we're going to take, this is the lighter one, okay, we're going to take that one. I love where the, I would like, I would like the palette to be like in a, 
degree of light to dark. What's the word? Oh, you know, you guys will help me with the names of the colours. Well, no, the names of the words. Well, no, the word. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. All over the lid. I'm actually touching my eyebrow. Get a bit more colour. This one doesn't have any fallout I can't, from memory. Love this palette. I bloody love this palette. Um, and we're going right up to the eyelash. Oh, <laughs> eyebrow! Um, but obviously it won't place any colour there because we're right at the tip. Let's have a look see what that looks like. Okay. They are going to be quite different. But I do think that, you know, this is all about having a bit of fun, isn't it, really? They don't have to be exactly the same. Johnny won't notice anyway, so that's all fine. So we're going to go next colour now, which is this one here. Probably got a name, but who cares? Uh, Mid-brown. It's like a taupey, mushroomy colour. No, it's not. It's got pink in it, so I'm lying. Okay, lift up your eyebrow. Pat the colour. And I'm going almost up to the, exactly the same place as the other one. I'm going to go out of the side. Turn the brush around. I'm going to blend. So I have one more week and one day here left and then we're moving on to another place called Pipi Rig in Romania and my dad's flying out and John's son James is coming to stay with us. It's going to be my birthday and um, yeah, well, I'm not sure, no one will be there for my birthday but it'll be really nice to see another human being. Uh, okay, so that's that one and I'm now going to go in with my Petite crease brush, the third one. You notice that the brushes are getting smaller as you go down. I'm just wiping this on a towel willy nearly next to me. Uh, and I'm going to use this shade here. So this, this one here actually has got a bit of shimmer in it. But when you actually put your finger in and muck it push it around, it doesn't have any shimmer in it. So I don't know which one's the darkest now. Uh, I'm going to... Mm -hmm. I might use that one. It's quite a difficult colour to work out really. Because it's like... Almost like a liquid. But it's not. But look, there you go. I'll put it on my brush and nothing's coming out. I wonder if it's like got that gunk on it. What's the word when your palette goes a bit funny? Yeah, that's either that's the same colour as the other one. Oh no, it is a bit darker. It is a bit darker. Well, there you go. Lifting your eyebrows up. Okay. Yep. Uh, so that's the same darkness as that one now, isn't it, actually? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it again. I want it to come out there a little bit. If you ever want your eyeshadow to wing out a little bit, just get your brush. And just softly wing it out like that. That's it. That's it. Still in tutorial mode. Still talking a load of shit. Um, okay. And I'm going to go underneath. Same, you know, let's use the same colour that we did on the other eye. We had 30 degrees here the last couple of days. I think that people in Europe are really suffering. I think they're getting like 36. When the people from the boat places have been saying how awful it's been. So that's that one. I'm going to go back in with a lighter colour with my whee, gold brush. Here's my gold brush here with a lighter colour. Just this one. Just to make it sure it blends in nicely. That's a quite a different eye look, isn't it, actually? I'm going, to go, I'm going to go back to the other one in a minute because I want it to be a little bit darker. See what I can do. See if I can make some magic. Uh, I'm, I want to go a bit darker and I'm just going to get darker and darker and darker you watch I'm going to go in with a darker shade now one one swipe tap off I just want a bit in that out outside bit there again I can't hear them men knocking anymore I know that they are I'm ignoring it so um right okay you see a bit of a this is my fake crease very very gently lightly Tapping it off and swiping it up. Right, let's get this other palette back. Come back. Where did it go? I haven't been anywhere and I literally have lost it. Oh, there it is over there. Of course, it's in my I've used pile. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, let me see what I can do. I'm going to try a different brush. See if I can pack it on. I have actually got um, one of these Hakahodo. You know the posh brushes that people have? I've got a posh brush. So, um, I'm going to try and use that one because it can't, it kind of packs colour on quite nicely. It's bloody filthy dirty. It was made of squirrel hair or something like that. I don't know. Right, get a load of colour on. Let's do this. One tap. If get fallout, who cares? We can just wipe it off. I have got fallout. You can see I've got no fallout on that side. 
quite a bit of fallout on that side. I'm not going to touch it. Okay. Uh, Dotty, shush. Here we go. Oh, fallout. Look at that. Yuck. Okay. So, looking, um, let's blend that. Okay, I'll blend that one as well. I want to go up a bit. I feel like that's all sitting quite low. Right, let's have a look. Straight on, dead on. Looking in the mirror at home, do they match? There's a bit there, and it always does it. It's naughty, that piece. It always pretends that it's something that it's not. So I'm just going to go over that bit there and bring it closer in, because obviously my skin folds in a different format to it does on the other eye. That's a bit better. Right, now, now to catch the, um, the critters, actually, critters. Um, um, actually, I'm going to go back in with that sandy colour because I think this eyeshadow here is a little bit lower than the eyeshadow there. I'm not sure this is going to work, but get a bit of the other tan colour in it as well. Bring that down a little bit lower. There you go. There you go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, uh, this is a fan brush. Amazing, you need one of these because it just gets rid of all the shit all over your face. Dot is, oh, hang on, what? Did not put any shimmer. Right, okay, so obviously we're gonna use this one because it's really the only suitable one. This is really pigmented. Let me put it next to the other one. This is more of a gold tone. The other one was more pinky. There we go. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's literally like cream. I love it. So, I'm gonna put, so what I do is I put a bit on my finger and it's so pigmented I wipe it on that chubby bit of my hand and then I put it in here. And you can, this is a, a whole different ball game. This does not make my skin look crepey. This makes my skin look like a, an angel. All right. Come down a little bit low. Oh, hang on a minute. Dot is really grumpy today. Started off with the cows coming in the back garden, well they weren't in the back garden but they might as well have been, <coughs> excuse me, right okay so now um, I want to put a tiny bit of, so I'm going to have to use this on both sides because the Natasha Denona doesn't have one any colour like that and I'm going to put some colour on the inside of my, this bit, whatever it's called, there, let's have a look, let me show you why I do this, because I think that this lightens up the inside of my eye, that's quite dark in there, now that isn't so dark. Same on this side. Oh, that's a bit too much. And then I'm going to go under my arch. I'm going to do it on both of them with the same colour from the Revolution palette. Just this is to hide all the unplucked hairs that I've got. There's a few of them. There's quite a few. Okay, um, um, and then I'm going to Oh, I was going to put a little bit of bright colour in there, but I'm not really, not really, not really. Um, right, now what? Now what happens? Hmm. You see all that orgasm? See, that orgasm has gone all over my face. <laughs> exactly. I've, see, bad brush placement on my part. So sort of literally gone into the wrinkles of my, under my eyes. I haven't been covered in orgasm all over my face. For a long time. <laughs> right, anyway, stop that, Julie. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Right, I've lost track. Okay, so um, so that was it. That was a battle. I, what do you think? Do they look massively different? I haven't finished yet. Wait. Right. A bit sniffing. I sniff so... Do you know what? When I edit my videos, all I get annoyed with myself because I sniff so much. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic uh, Controversial Eye, eye Mascara. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. I do like it. It's really good. Um, it's buggered to come off. I did, struggled to get it off in the morning. No, I don't take my makeup off at night. Still can't let Johnny see me. That's rubbish, actually. It's really strange, isn't it? Because I walk, I've been walking around the house all day today with no makeup on. Took it off as soon as I got up. And um, I still keep saying, I'm, not, I'm never going to let Johnny see me without makeup, but I've cooked dinner. We've done a load of work together. <laughs> I had no makeup on, but it doesn't really count. I want to go to bed and who and it's really weird isn't it because it's pitch black so i can't even see me what's wrong with me uh underneath i'm turning the brush over now so i'm on the other side of it like a paddle 
Did anyone see that thing I did yesterday? I managed to do wing liner for hooded eyes. I was like patting myself on the back for like four hours. I put a little little video up. It took me forever to get a photo of how I, ouch, how I wanted it to look. I, had, I knew it's trying to capture your own photo when you're so critical about making sure that everyone can see what you're all the fuss is about. So, um, yeah, that was quite funny. I did it. I probably will never be able to do it again. Don't ever ask me for a tutorial because it was a whole thing. It took me about an hour. Okay, um, let's do that thing and push my lashes up, my lashes up. This is the look. No. No, do you know what? I'm going to put, I'm going to put everything on. I'm going to have a finished look with no lashes. And then I'm going to put my lashes on afterwards. This is um, Kat Von D Everlasting something or other. These lip, what is it called? Lovecraft. That's a colour. Lip liner, crayon. Kat Von D lip liner. They last through the most amazing amount of time. Um, right. <sighs> Mel told me how to outline my lips, but I haven't read it properly. I've written it all down, but I'm just going to... Okay. These are pigmented. Why would you ever need to put lipstick on top of that? So just to show you how creamy these are, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a line on here. They are so lovely. And that you put that on in the morning, that'll still be there when you get home at night. <laughs> It'll still be there when you get home at night, like you'd leave it behind. Oh my god, honestly I'm full of poo, aren't I? Right, and get that off. Because I I know now because that's gonna stain my hands. Right, and over the top um that's that's too dark for me. But, you know, I know that this channel is not just for me, is it? Everyone has a different taste. A lot of people love lipstick, absolutely love it. I'm not a fan of lipstick because my top lip is so, well, you can't even see it now, can you? And over the top of that, I'm going to do the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the original colour. Gloss something or other. Uh, I'm quite happy to overline my lips when I've got this on. Right, now, okay, so this... For me, I'm just I'm just checking my itinerary, not my itinerary, my stuff, to make sure. Oh no, I'm gonna do setting spray. Um, so I so I saw this about a year ago and I bought it, and I've never really shown anyone me using it. This is the one that they use for um, weddings, Skin Denavia. Um, it's made by the same people that make the Urban Decay All Nighter. I believe I could be wrong. Um, so I'm gonna oh, no. look like a professional YouTuber. Did you see that? I might put, I'm might. i going to put that in slow motion. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished look without lashes. I do a little turn for you. A pout. Okay, two palettes. One's 25 quid. One's about eight pounds, something like that. See, see what the difference is. I know that this one lasts a long time because I've worn it. See, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll pin a comment if I can know, work out how to do that and see how that gets on. Um, I'm going to put my false eyelashes on now and I'll be back in a minute. Don't go away. Okay, so this is the finished look with my lashes. Uh, everything I've used today, most of it, if it's available, is linked um, below on my Amazon storefront. Um, I quite like it. I think uh, my skin looks nice, actually. Don't look at the shiny bits underneath my eyes. My, obviously, my lash glue is still wet. Mm. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, thanks again, you lovely lot, for being my subscribers and for comments and all of your lovely well wishes and all of that kind of stuff. Thank you, honestly. I'm like a little kid in the sweet shop. I love it and I'm so excited. Um, I'm running out of hair options really because I've only got nothing with me apart from that horrible hair curler. I want, I'm going to do an air wrap tutorial when I get back to the boat because I miss it so much. Anyway, waffling on, just making a bit of sleep in my eye.
this is the finished look and thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!